And I'm, I'm, I'm looking for somebody. Hey, Floricel. Hey, Floricel, I'm looking for you. So he is uh, <laughs> well, uh, cooking the food and uh, it's his favorite place whenever we cook the food despite the, the tremendous heat he just wants to stay here um, as for this guy I have him since um, I have him since um, like uh, a few months now I took him he lived his life in the streets of Dragashan. He had people to take care of him. Uh, I knew him since I came to, to Vulcha, so for many years now. Unfortunately, in the last years, his people abandoned him. And uh, it was twice uh, that, yeah, he's protecting the, <laughs> the food room. He's Margareta's best friend because he won't allow... Hey, guys, go away. He won't allow the others to come and loot the the hot pots because that's what they do. They simply come and they they take the food and they pick up the meat out of it, even if it's hot. They just pick it up, make a mess, spill the pots and everything. They are really uh, they have no patience for uh, the food to be done. Anyway, so about Floricel, uh, he was. Um, uh, he was let down, he was taken by the dog catchers the first time I went after him, I heard that he was taken, Hello, so I went after him. Uh, I found him in a terrible, terrible state, uh, not even in the kennels because he was so old they just expected him to die, so they put, didn't put him in the kennel, in the public shelter in Dragoshan. I got him back. Um, people promised to take care of him and stuff. Um, he was fed and he had an, a warm cloth to sleep uh, on uh, um, in front of a staircase um, in winter. But um, they, um, uh, the second time he was taken, nobody wanted to claim him again. So, uh, and they said that uh, they don't want the dog on the street anymore. And so I, I had to take him in. I wasn't going to let him. I wasn't going. I wasn't going to let him. Um, I wasn't going to let him uh, uh, stay in the shelter um, and die there because he's really... Yeah, he was in a terrible state. He would not, he refused to eat. He was cowering and uh, being very frightened and being um, very. Ești foarte enervantă și îmi strici tot ce vreau să fac. He wasn't being very. Um, 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 he basically was shutting down. Um, and um, Floricel, vino cu aici. Nale, mama, na. Floricel. 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 And um, he was um, he was going to not make it there. I took him. He's going to stay with us if he doesn't find a home. As for the medical issues that he has, it's um, he has a broken leg uh, for years now and uh, like a displaced hip or something that healed like that. He's walking crooked, um, but uh, nothing we can do uh, for, with that. We managed to spay him. Um, um, after I got him here, because as decrepit as he was, he was always uh, um, in, in looking for bitches and uh, um, uh, trying to be the boss of everybody else. Because seniority, he used to be the boss on the street, so uh, now he thinks that he can do the same in a shelter full of uh, uh, huge, bigger dogs than him, and it's not good for him. Um, and um, so sometimes. Sometimes he cries, he has like, cry, <coughs> see, like he's, he's touched a little bit, even if it's just a little bit, he gets frightened, uh, frightened. and he cries like um, um, unexpectedly like that and you'd think you'd hurt him or something, you just, uh, he just doesn't expect. Other times, most of the times he just comes and lays his head and he demands to be fast, he demands to be pet, he demands to be... 
to be um, loved and uh, as you can see he's rubbing his his face against my legs he always does that <laughs> come on you're so muddy you're so muddy you're so muddy so uh, medical issues he's he's quite old he's um I mean, his teeth are, mm, he's really old and um, uh, he has some discoloration in the eyes and cataract and um, other than this, I don't know, he's been, he's in good shape considering the age, considering the fact, he could still pull up a fight, he won't win definitely, but he would uh, <laughs> Uh, put a fight with uh, one of the bigger, younger males that we have if he wants to show his uh, seniority. Oh my god, the smoke here is... Ugh. As you can see, the position of his leg is its how he stands, actually. It's, the leg is... Ugh. But he's always had that. It's not like we can operate now. Nala, what are you doing? Not like we can operate now at his age and um, he's walking okay. He's doing um, uh, good in his, um, in his uh, condition. So I, I, I don't see any... He's an old dog that walks funny. Um, of course he's panting because it's very hot here. But he's the guarder. He's very lovely with the puppies. He just tries to keep keep the adults away from the the food. As you, and as you, as you can see, even the puppies are trying to to nick food, even if it's not yet ready and the fire is still burning underneath. They're still oh, Nala, Nala. This is Aiko's sister. Nala, Nala. You're a darling. Yes, you are, and your time will come. She's just a little bit shy. Nala, yes, you're a darling. Hi, Dita Faram. <laughs>